Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. So, it is time to move the calves from down at Travis's place up to the pole shed. And uh, we're going to head down to Travis's place, help him sort calves off, and hopefully get all the calves out here in the pole shed. Now, my calves are currently in the pole shed, so we got to push them down to the steer lot now that I've got them up to full feed with corn and hay. And uh, they should be calm down enough to where we can trust them down the steer lot without running through fences. And uh, Travis has said that dads right now are kind of uh, on edge because he's trying to get them in and um, they're kind of high energy. So we'll get them into the pole shed and after work and, you know, bringing out buckets and stuff and uh, working with them, they'll calm down um, to a certain degree anyway. So before we get started, I want to back my truck into the machine shed over here. I went through and cleaned out the machine shed and Hannah actually helped me uh, clean it out and get everything nice and open so i've got a little bit more space in here so i want to put the truck where the car is uh i went and washed the truck twice and it didn't get all the bird poop off it so i meticulously hand washed it yesterday and i didn't park it inside because i didn't want the birds to poop on it anymore but i'm actually gonna winterize that put it away for the winter because i'm not feeding buckets anymore with it so i'm not going to need it anymore and i want to keep it out of the salt so we're going to back it in here throw the cover over it uh, I'm going to open the gates up, push the calves down, and uh, we're going to head over to Rockville and get the truck and trailer. There we go. It's better than letting the birds poop on it all winter. All right, let's push the calves out. i got to flip the switch for the electric fence, so then that way if they touch it, they'll get a good zap. All right, water's on. I need to go check the fencer to make sure it's actually working. Yep, we're good. That's what I like about this fencer. It tells you whether or not you need to walk around the fence and check it, which I already did a couple weeks ago. 11.13. It's still in operating range. Come on. Come on, guys. Good? Yep. Go. Okay. Hey, you spicy little devils. Last year I got trampled doing this, so hopefully it's a little safer. Have you guys ever wondered what happens when a stoppable force meets an immovable wall? Well, today we find out because on this trailer, we don't have a way to chain the gate to the trailer to keep the cows from pushing this gate out. So Travis is going to get the bobcat. We're gonna put the bobcat up against the trailer to keep the cows from pushing it out. We've had to use it out of my place and at other times, and that usually works pretty good. Thankfully, we have three skid loaders, so the bobcats readily available down here. But uh, Hannah went to go get the four-wheeler because there's a couple calves out that need to be brought in. Actually, those two right there need to come in for sure. But uh, yeah, we're gonna start sorting these guys off and hopefully it's not as big a problem as it was last year where I had one run me over, but thankfully there's no snow on the ground. So it's a little bit easier for us to work with them. Come on. There you go. Let that feeder calf back. Come on, bud. Come on. Come on. And calf. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on, Mr. Bull. Come on. Come on. Come on. Pull the end gate around. Going. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Follow him. Come on. There you go. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Turn around. Turn around. Get up there. Come on. Bring the cans back out. I want 
these cows off and they're gonna go right through there. Go! Fingers okay? We just brought dad's bull out to my place. I put him in with my cows because I want to do a breeding exam on both his bull and mine when we get the vet around and everything set up in the pole shed to run the calves through. We'll just run the bulls through at the same time. So opening up the gates to let them into the barnyard, to let them into these lots to polish them off. All right, do something amazing like a backflip or something. Whoa! Quick U turn. So it's starting to rain, and we didn't get all the calves sorted off, which is fine. But so we'll just have to come back another day when he can get the rest of them up into the pool shed. Because it's always better when starting calves like this to just take it nice and slow and easy because, well, surprisingly, this year, the calves weren't that bad to work with. There were a couple of the heifers that we kept back last year that were the biggest problem. But uh, I think there's at least three calves that we need to get sorted off yet, but that's probably going to have to wait for another day because this rain isn't going to make things very fun. Now that all the calves are out at my place, we'll start feeding on buckets of corn by hand and slowly working their intake up until they aren't finishing the corn in the bunk every single day. And at that point, it'll be safe to mix a load of feed up and put it in the steer stuffer or the creep feeder for them. One thing we gotta worry about is overfeeding corn because some calves, if you don't work them up on their intake slowly, uh, what you'll have some of them do is stand in front of the bunk and eat non-stop and that can be very detrimental to their health because well, they'll very likely bloat and uh, you'll have issues there. So to keep the calves safe we just feed them corn gradually, work them up and uh, we don't feed them a full diet of corn. We do make sure that they have hay available at all times. Uh, in light of recent events that have been going on around the farm as you guys may have seen on some of our other social media. Um, things have been kind of hectic around here lately, so uh, I'm just now really getting some time to sit down and uh, work on some videos. So our schedule is still Wednesday and Sunday at 11 a.m. Central. Uh, typically we are Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. Once spring rolls around again, we'll be going back to our normal schedule. I've got some things that I've been pushing off doing around the house as well, so reducing the amount of videos that I'm putting out gives me a chance to get caught up on doing some stuff like uh, putting up shelves around the house and doing some trim work and other things. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All how farms work. And with that, I'll see you next time.